Hello everybody, my name is Alex and welcome to episode 15 of this playthrough of Civilization 6 as Indonesia. So, we are doing okay right now, we're doing a lot better than we have been doing. We were doing alright in science, but at the end of the last episode, I actually changed one of the policy slots to give, um, I think it was 50% or 100% adjacency bonus for the campus. Since then, I've had to think about it. And I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to leave it at um, with the gold on. Because I'd rather have the extra 20 gold. We'll keep improving our science anyway. We're not going to catch Australia. So, you know, we're, we're pretty okay. Also, i just like to apologise because we are having odd game audio issues, which we need to sort out. And I was ideally going to sort them out um, before this episode. But basically, I've recorded this episode less than a day after the, the last one, because I don't know how much recording time I'm going to get next week. So to ensure we have a bonus episode for next week, I've not sorted that out yet. Okay. Well, you can't hear Sean Bean, so that's very sad. Um, but basically, um, we have now... Because we've got guild, we've got um, a Eureka for banking. You can't go around arresting the thieves guild. Um, I think we're going to leave the policies the same. Yeah, we are. That's fine by me, and we've also got builders going all over the place. How many charges have you got left? Are we working on that crab? I presume we are. Um, who do the fish belong to though? Do the fish belong to Magipa Heat? We could actually go and build on, on a mine. We could go and build a mine to give us a good production tile. Because in all fairness, we are probably focused a little bit too much on the sea resources. Yeah, I think we'll go and build a mine. Hmm, which one? Which one will give us better? A lumber mill or a mine? Lumber mill looks like it possibly could, because it's a better starting tile. Okay, what are you doing then? I think we were going to build buy this tile here, weren't we, and build a, another camp home. So we'll, we'll do that now. Ah, more money. More expenditure. How sad. Yeah, build a camping there, please. We've also got them dies, so we, we could possibly consider building on the other dies pretty quickly. Because it is quite a good tile. We will be making lots of monies from it. It's a, it'd be a better tile than this, sure. Oh, but it wouldn't give us housing, really, would it? Or if it would, it'd probably give us 0 0.5 housing. Okay, we'll build a camping. We'll think about the dies next time. Oh, we have got ch we've got some more charges. That's alright. That is okay. For some reason, I thought that was on its last charge. Yep, so we've got the tech boost. Oh, why does Jambi always need more housing? It's like a constant thing. Just taking a drink of tea there. All right, we've got two charges. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna give them some more housing this time, this turn, and then we can yeah. All right, that'll be all right. Just need to keep building some campungs to keep it growing. Okay, so where can we be? All right. Oh, good, we finally built the holy site in turn 8. It seemed to take forever. But, yeah. Now we've got that. To me, it makes sense to kind of ma uh, maximise on that. So a shrine will give us another two faith. Obviously, the great profit points are going to be absolutely pointless to us at this point in the game. Um, but, yeah. A shrine will give us extra faith. And this faith we are going to use to buy naval units. So we'll, 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 um, we'll build a shrine there. Important to probably remember how close they are, though. Ooh, religious units. I only usually see them at sea. What else can we do? We have got quite a lot of faith. I think we've got enough faith here for possibly another two ships. 300, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another two ships. So that's nice. A bit more, and we'll, we'll, be, we'll be looking good. I am actually quite tempted to um, begin the proceedings now. I don't know how we're going to declare a... What any of these wars, I think we're probably just going to have to go in and look like a bit of a knob. Oh well. I don't think anybody, I mean Gandhi will not like it, but I'm not scared of Gandhi. He's a man of peace, he should, he should be like, no. Although I disapprove, I will do nothing about this. Uh, okay. The university won't be, um, it's not that far away actually, so that's something to start getting excited about. Like a kid at Christmas, waiting for his university on Civ. Gives a nice, I think it gives an extra six science, so we'll, we'll be well up towards 70 in the next few turns. Plus obviously, plus obviously we've got, um, cities growing and things like that. 
Okay, so I don't know why we'd want this in Banjai Machine. Obviously, we could send it to Tuban or Majapa Heat, but do we need the food? I kind of want to. The only. I'm, the only, I wouldn't send it from Banjai Machine because I don't want Banjai Machine really growing. I mean, you look at it now. 12 population, soon to be a 13 population. We can't control that with the amenities. That's going to absolutely eat up our amenities. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to move this city. Hmm. Can we send it to Seoul? What I like about... Oh, yes, we can. I like about Seoul, three science as well. So we're getting the eight gold, which we'd get from most city-states. But we're also getting an additional couple of signs. Lovely. Could send it to Preslav and get another production. But you know what? I'm not that bothered. I think we'll send this to Seoul. Bring in the science. Beautiful. Makasa needs more housing. Doesn't everywhere. Doesn't absolutely everywhere need more housing. Alright. Well, once we've built the pikemen, we'll, we'll get you some more builders. I think we just bought some builders there, but obviously the kampungs allow cities to grow so quickly. You're constantly trying to keep up, aren't you? Oh, good. Banjai Machine's got two amenities. Oh, I feel better about that. What to build, though? It's suggesting we build another trader, which I can't say I'm completely against. Um, I know that... Yeah, I mean, 20 turns isn't actually that bad. Isn't that bad for a jong? But I think we'll go for the trader, the, the extra cash and science possibly, depending on where we send it, could be quite useful. We, we, we've got other cities, I mean we've got another Jean coming out in Magipa Heat next turn. What are you doing? Ah, uh, I think I know, we have a problem here don't we? Yeah, we've, we've got a food problem. So actually we might be better off sticking to these tiles. In fact, we will be, won't we? Definitely. Hmm. But which one? Hang on. Hold your horses. Hold your horses there. I need to think about it. If that, I think that fish tile does actually belong to this city. It does. Yeah. Oh, the crab tile, sorry. Go work some crabs. I don't think I ever say that before in my life, but I just did. Okay, that's a perfect site for a kampung. Should help out the housing problems in Jambi. Um, not not particularly um, large amounts, but it should do the job. We're okay for housing right now. I am actually tempted. I think what we'll do... Why? Why not grow there? Somewhere chuffing useful to me. Um... I think we'll go and work on the plantation first, and then we'll come back, we'll buy that tile, and we'll put a camp on there. Oh, a cup of tea and playing Civ on a Saturday morning. How lovely. Such a shame I've got to go and bloody go to work in a couple of hours. Well, less than a couple of hours, actually. I start in um, just over two hours, so I'm going to have to set off in about an hour and a half. Ah, uh, please feel sorry for me, folks. I love the sympathy, really. John Curtin, my friend, why don't you send us? Why don't you become friends with us? He won't. He won't. Why is this turn taking so long? Yay! Not that I get over excited about stuff or anything like that. I actually think, though, that puts us in an absolutely smashing position if we use our faith as well to begin proceedings against the Kamer. I think that'll be... I think we'll, pre, we'll take that pretty easily. Hopefully, we'll take that, or we'll be sieging that, and they'll come across with all their units. Oh, we better back this up with, um, with units. We... All oh, right, it's a Mysore swordsman. I will get him rather scared then. Um, they'll come across with all the units, trying to reinforce, and then we'll pick them off one by one, laughing while we do it. Like, ha ha. Lol at you. Also, if we take the city, we'll grab the furs. We just do we buy this time, or do we go for it? I think we could definitely take that, but I would just 100% want to be in a position where we can 
move units over here and, and take this as well because this is a very very nice city in fact that's much more desirable than the other one so it's we just need to have a quick think about that but I think maybe maybe we could we could think about it we're gonna piss a lot of people off um, probably the whole world seeing as nobody seems to have been at war all game but you're not to worry we, we've got to do what we've got to do. I fancy going to war with somebody. I'm a very angry man. Um, what do we do then? We've definitely got the navy here, I think, to strike our Indra Pura. Especially with the caravel. Because we, we've got the Jong here. We've got one here. So we can kind of leave this to um, keep an eye on things. But with the caravel could swoop in right at the last and take the city. Huh. Choices. Choices, choices. See, I don't want to bottle it, but I also don't want to kind of rush in. I'll think about it. I will think... Okay. How many builds? We've only got one build left, so we've got to be pretty clever with this. I think we'd be better building a camping rather than using a resource, to be honest. Where could we build a kampung? We could buy that tile there. Hopefully we'll be growing to it. Yes! Oh, in 12 turns. What a come down. Like, yeah, we can build one there, but... Will it, I don't think it'll give us the house. It will give us the housing. It'll give us a housing in production, although we won't get the growth. I'm not that bothered about that, because I don't... I mean, Jambi probably needs the growth of most, more than most cities, but you know what? I'll take the housing and production. I just really want the housing right now. And if it's going to save me some gold, I'm all for it. We've got plenty in the war chest. That's what it is now, by the way. It's a war chest. Um, okay, I think we're doing all right. We've got to remember we can't um, declare peace or ask for a peace treaty until 10 turns once we've declared war. So... How do we play this? I really, really, really want the harbour because it'll bring us lots of cash in. Damn, we need um, Nighter for musketmen. We've got bugger all resources. How crap's that? Okay, I think we'll go for the harbour in Majapa Heat because I know where I'm going to get the other ships from. Yeah. It shouldn't, it's not going to take that long anyway. It'll bring us a nice bit of extra gold, more science and stuff. So we should be alright there. Well, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Put the um, the other envoy in Seoul. Because then we'll get more science. Science is a good thing. Okay, I think we definitely will. That should give us an extra four science, I think. Because we've got two campus districts, two in each, four. I am good at maths, aren't I? Um, should show next turn, possibly. Yep, happy with that. Yeah, you're sleeping. You're kind of defending here. Okay. I just, I just wish we could have the audio on for such dramatic music. But sadly, it's not working right now. I will definitely fix that for the um, next episode. Okay, okay. Are we ready, do we think? We have a caravel here as well, remember? We can actually put that out to sea right now. So we have a caravel. We have a spearman in here, which we could probably... Yeah, we should probably upgrade that to a pikeman. Much stronger unit. Could keep them with the Zhong. That could actually be quite useful. We can always buy another pikeman in there. We should have the cash to do so if we really need one. So maybe if we took three of these, what I want to do first though actually, before we declare war, is I want to purchase a couple of units with faith. So I think we'll go because we've only got, I think the Zhong's actually better than the Caravel, um, simply because of its range. So I think we'll go for a Zhong, I think we'll go for two. Um, we won't actually be that far off being able to purchase a Caravel after that. But we'll go for a Zhong right now, um, and then next turn we'll purchase the next one. Unless we can keep one in the city this turn. I think we can, actually. 
Lovely. So that's an extra two ships we've purchased. We've used most of our faith then. But it wasn't going to get used for anything else. So that now gives us four ships around here. Here's the plan of action, right? Oh, no, we have five, don't we? I keep forgetting about that. We want to get that ship around here. We want to. We don't want to engage with the city. The city, there's no point with just one jump. We'd be absolutely wasting our unit. So we should probably get this up into this area. Crush what navy they've got. Destroy what we can. Just be a pr bit of a nuisance around here. Whilst also kind of fending off attacks from the mainland. I'm sure they'll send units. They've got an encampment there. So it makes sense for them to kind of keep chucking loads of crap at us from there. So if we can deal with them. And then what the first plan of action will be. Will be to take Indrapura. Now... <clears throat> How much is it to purchase a naval unit? I think it's very expensive. It's 500 gold. Now, I'm not saying I want to do this right now. Um, it's literally as a backup in case it all kind of goes tits up and they start sending loads of units. So we should actually be able to afford. Um, if we need to kind of hurriedly, hurriedly um, build a unit, we should be able to do that. But I want to take their cities as quickly as possible otherwise war weariness stuff like that it's not good to be at war it is not good to be at war and it will actually hit us quite hard i think <clears throat> so what i'll do this turn is i think i don't know i think we're already denounced kind of thing so i don't think we have a cost as bell eye really ah. This just means the warmonger penalty is going to be absolutely enormous. That's my worry. I don't want to pee everybody off. Maybe we can use... Can we... Wish we could use that as a Corsa's Bell Eye. We get them Corsa's Bell Eyes not too long though. Uh, We could try. I think we'll wait till we actually get the um, diplomatic service and go for a Corsa's Bell Eye. Five turns though, that seems ages at this stage. Mm -hmm. We have the Navy here anyway, ready to swoop down and support these in the attack. Just very wary of the um, of the penalties for attacking them. We are in quite a late era as well. I mean, we're in 1630, so it's not as if it's going to go unnoticed like it would in the ancient era. Bam, bam. Oh, great, look. Persia's declared friendship with Australia. Lovely, they're all in bed with each other. How nice is that? Um, um, uh, this is not an easy decision because I don't want to take the warmonger penalties because that is a big warmonger penalty. And we are going to get absolutely slated on the world's st stage for that. Okay, we've got mass production, so that allows us to uh, build a shipyard and a Venetian arsenal. Ooh. We got a nice quote by Henry Ford, but don't think you can hear that, which is very sad. What should we go for next? Okay. I think we'll probably go for um, for this one. Yeah. Do we have a... Is the copper a mine or a quarry? I think it's a mine. I think it's a copper mine. We'll go for banking anyway. Um, get these out of the way. We'll go for astronomy and then banking. Just to kind of catch up a little bit. How are we doing sciency? Sciency? Sciency wise. Wow. We are making so much more science than so many of these. I mean, he's not doing bad. Roosevelt's not doing bad at 60 science per turn. Um, but the Kama, wow, 44.9. More technologies than us, but that is not going to last for very long if we carry on. How exciting. I feel like we're in a strong position and I want to strike. Hmm. What would a shipyard do? I'm thinking, why do we need a ship? Oh, they built the Pipeman, thank you for that. That's, that's great. Could build another Zhong. 
boost to the navy. 25 turns, we could be in the thick of a nasty war with the um, with the Kama. Yeah, why not? Why not? I think we'll also... Oh, we, we've moved the pike. I think we'll send the pikeman, the pikeman, over to um, to Magipa Heat. Okay, that's fine. These always work better in formation, so maybe we should consider trying to get all them in formation if possible. Yay! Build a plantation! Plus two gold, and provides a little bit of housing. How nice. The shrine will be up next turn as well, so... Things are looking absolutely mint. Mint. I can't believe I use that word. I hear that word. Um, no, please move, Persians. Or is that our caravel? No. Whose caravel is that? Oh, it's um, Leventa City State. <gasps> That's an idea. We could um, we could actually attack a city state. <laughs> How cowardice is that? We could attack a city state, but I still think the warmongering penalties would be pretty high for that. Declare war. Hmm. Uh -huh. I'm not going to attack Preslav. That's not the one I'd attack. Which one would we consider attacking, perhaps? Hong Kong? Very nice. Who's it? Is it no Caesarian? Hmm. I mean, we'd look like absolute cowards. What would the... What would the warmongering penalty be? Surely there'd be a warmongering penalty, but can't. I don't know. I've not really attacked city states before in the game. They are a military city state, though, I think. So, you know, we've got to be a bit careful. Let's go scout them out. Let's go scout them out. We'll send a couple of ships down, you know. Just in case we're getting a taste for it. Ooh, look at all this. Oh, I just want to attack that. We could absolutely mince them right now. I think we sh we could actually really consider doing this. Because if that's successful, that is a very nice city. Have we got any um, luxury resources? Doesn't actually look like we have. Um, okay. That's the only problem, but strategically, it's in quite a good place, because if we can build a strong... If we can, perhaps, take Hong Kong, and then in our wall with the Kama, take Indrapura, we'll be actually looking pretty good. We'll have a nice, solid base on here. Um, what else could we take? So, Valletta, I don't... I think that probably has a Caesarian. And we get on quite well with Valletta. Or do we? Caesarian, none. Ooh, and we've got no envoys there. Plus, we'd gain access to dyes. Oh, we've already got dyes. Um, and that'd really that that. In fact, why don't we just take both and laugh in the face of the camera? Ha! Ah, you are now surrounded. Um, no, I don't. Th oh no, they're a militaristic city state. What's Hong Kong then? Industrial. Oh, so in fact, you think about it as well that. That is a pretty damn good city. It's a nine, nine population city. Not that far from Indonesia either, Hong Kong. Not that far at all. I'll send some more boats now. I'll send three. In fact, no, bugger it. Send all four. Here's the plan. We'll send four down. We'll send this young across here to kind of keep an eye out. And we'll leave the caravel where it is. I don't think the caravel will be too necessary. Hmm. Although, actually, in a couple of turns, we'll be able to buy a new one with faith. So bugger that. We'll send the caravel down here. And we'll actually consider a proper attack on Hong Kong. I might actually just off-camera see what... Because I'm not, I've not played this game through that much. I might off-camera... Um, See um, see what um, penalty we get for that. Okay, so I think actually I'll just kind of wrap it up on this turn. And then next turn we'll actually have a good think about how we are going to strike. Yeah, I'm pretty happy for you to stay there. Aside of this rock, keeping an eye out. So we'll have one caravel and one jong at each side of the rock. And we'll send, we'll send you around here. Lovely. 
We are strong, my friends. I mean, if we've got such a big military, we might as well, like, put it to some use. Even if it is going to slightly piss people off. Don't really have a problem with that. How big... How good is our military? It is good. It is stronger than the Kama, which is all that matters. Okay, so I think that is going to be the end of this episode. Hopefully this will be going up on Wednesday. I presume it will be. So, and then I am hopeful that we could possibly have another episode between now and next Saturday. But we'll see. At least there will be one bonus episode this week. So join me next time when we will put our powerful navy into action. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. And like if you've enjoyed the video. So uh, yeah, I will see you um, in a couple of days.